Salam guys. Today's tutorial is about cross processing effect and for those who do not know what is cross processing effect, you might want to google it or wiki it and you will find the answer straight away. And to do that you obviously need a photo and I have one here and I will try to recreate this effect on this particular photo. Before anything else, I will just make a duplicate of this photograph so that in case of anything bad happen, I will still have one here down here. So first thing, you will need to open the curve layer which is you can find here or go to adjustment layer and click curve. So by default, you will be in RGB in this drop down menu. Just increase the exposure or brightness of your photo. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Well, most of the time when, I'm, when I did this effect, I tend to increase or overexpose my photograph. And alright, that seems okay, I think. And click this drop down menu and go to red channel you can see straight line but in color I mean in red color what you want to do is try to create like an S shape which is something like that yeah you can see already that your photo this is the original one and you like it seems like you try to introduce uh, some greenish portion in this photograph some greenish effect and click that drop down menu again jump straight to blue channel and here you will not do the S shape but just click the highest point and then just somewhere uh, and, and then pull it down somewhere in the middle of this first square box probably a little bit there yeah and then do the same thing on the other end but you do not want to uh, be more than half of this square box because you will introduce more bluish color yeah I, I don't reckon that somewhere probably that yeah and then lastly go to green channel then you can click somewhere make, try, try to make like an S shape as we did on the red channel Yep, somewhere like that, I think, probably, that should be, okay. Yep, there. So, you can see already, this is the original image, and this is, like, almost done. But before you merge all the layers, save this photograph, there's one more thing that I think you should do it. Please. Go to adjustment layer, click levels. And not, not here, just, but here. This is where the magic happen. See this black slider? Slide it a little bit to the right. And you can see what happened to your photograph. See? it desaturate your photograph a little bit and you want to create that actually. so simply slide to the right somewhere here yup think that's that's fine and let's merge the visible and see what we have done so this is the original image and this is what we have done and I think that's that's like cross processing fat thing. Yep. Thanks for watching and listening.